everyone and welcome to Space for Three. Today we are here at one of Miami's haunted locations. This is in the Redlands. It's called Anderson's Corner. Legend has it that the man that owned this house and a store had a stepdaughter and he used to torture her and leave her up in the attic and do horrible things to her until she died one day. So, so neighbors around here um, claim they always hear screaming, especially in the nighttime coming from the attic and they'll hear different kinds of noises. And, and they even see a, They a, hear chains. A, they hear chains and they even see a girl in a white dress in yep. the backyard. She posts up in the yard right over there. So this is it right here. We're going to check it out. Come along. We have plenty of space. Look at this tree right over here. And over here, that porch right there is where they claim to see her in the nighttime, the little girl. She'd be coming out there posting up. porch where they hear the girl screaming and crying out late at night. Pretty creepy. Located on Newton Road and Silver Palms Drive in the Redlands, Florida, this vernacular style home was built in 1911 by William Anderson, also known as Pop. The Anderson Corner House served as a general merchandise store for farmers, lumbermen, and pioneer families from 1911 to the 1930s. The first floor was the store and the second floor was the Anderson's living headquarters. It's in this section that the alleged abuse took place. The urban legend tells of neighbors hearing banging, chains rattling, and a girl screaming. Although the house has no power, people claim to see lights flickering on and off, and a girl dressed in white on the back porch. According to hauntedplaces.org, one witness described the vision he has seen of a man abusing a young girl. After being shown a photograph, he identified them as William Anderson and his stepdaughter. Though no police records exist about this abuse, this site is still considered one of Florida's most haunted places. During the 1930s, the property was converted into apartment housing for several years until it was condemned in 1975. All right, guys, so this concludes our day here at the Anderson Corner. I hope you guys didn't get spooked out. I hope you all enjoyed it. We had fun coming here. It is a very creepy 
Very place. creepy. <laughs> I mean, there's like you feel some energy. Like it's it's just weird. It's a very very weird vibe here. I remember five six years ago, driving down the street and seeing this house and not knowing about its famous being haunted, and I just got a vibe from it always. And you know, fast forward to now, and I know that it's haunted, and it's like now that explains a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everybody that comes down the street and the front. Everybody's always fascinated by this house. Yeah. So there's definitely something that attracts people towards it. Definitely. So with that said. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so that you can be notified when we download new videos every Friday. And don't forget to meet new faces. See new places. And always leave a space for love. Bye. Peace.